Live. Are you sure? <laughs> I don't know. We'll try. I don't know. I got to check on the Facebooks. Awesome. I don't know if we are. Cheers. Love you. It says this video Holy is God. live now. <laughs> <laughs> did you did they miss the song? Oh. Oh, there it is. Yeah, but did they miss the song? I don't know. Let us know in the comments if you heard the song or not. We'll play it when we get when we're when we we're a little behind the eight ball here, a little late. But hey, listen, fashion, we're always late. We're the Clark fashion. Oh, wait. can you see us? OK, I don't think we did lighting today. Oh, uh, yeah. plug her in. Hang on. Keep talking. Talk I will. Hi, everybody. We're going live and go. we obviously suck at this. <laughs> We are not prepared, but pretty soon it's going to be lit right up like a Christmas tree in here. And woohoo! Oh, I, I look way better with those lights off, honey. Oh, I mean, I mean, <laughs> Whatever. I mean, oh, <laughs> That's nice. I know. Well, I would help, but I probably don't know how to do any of this stuff. I'm usually just here for the. I'm usually just here for the cocktails. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Listen to let's see, we don't even knew this is okay. We got oh no, John. Yes, John Goss said he heard it. Yep, yep. And and thank you, John and Mary. They're watching us right now. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, you need to turn them off. I looked way better. Okay. Oh Welcome gosh. back to oh, oh, there's the mouse. Look oh at it, it's God. stuck again. It doesn't matter. Anyway, so, oh, folks, I, I just touched something. Don't touch stuff. Don't, <laughs> especially that <laughs> stuff. Especially that stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to one of our first only. Well, I don't want to say first and only, but well, maybe depends on how this goes. We've done lives uh, before, yeah, but not by ourselves. Yeah. We've usually leaned on guests to be clever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a little scary. Yeah. But we don't edit or do anything to our other videos, no. but we do have things happen just yeah, to warn like, and then some, <laughs> like yeah. the lights. <laughs> hey, look, the, f for some reason. Uh, hi, Mary Loveman. Um, for some reason, she just said hi. Hello, Mary. And, oh, Douglas McLeod. Sir, how are you? Sir, how are you? So tonight we are talking some wine because it's my wife's favorite, well, third favorite holiday <laughs> next well, to Halloween, which is her birthday. Yeah. So there's one, two. <laughs> no, that was all one because it's a whole month with you. So what's my second? Um, second. <laughs> what's my second my, holiday, my, baby? My, um, your second <laughs> would probably be your son's birthday. <laughs> That would yeah, that would sorry. probably be my first. And then uh, the other wine holiday. I can't. I'm not that right. <laughs> I would have to say. So that sporting my <laughs> Steve Rogers shirt because I was going to do a podcast with my buddy Steve Rogers today, but had some issues. Um, that's a whole nother thing. But anyway, we always have issues. Yes. Well, if I tell me if I'm too loud too, because I really don't need a microphone, and I would love the feedback from the feedback. <laughs> the feedback from the fans. <laughs> You know, you know, you know, I mean, I mean, listen. I mean, I'm uh, good. I can take constructive criticism. Yes, I live with. I this give one, it to you so. all, all the time, but you don't take it very well. This. Not from you, it's but from other people. I do. So, folks, tonight we are talking I about I drum roll, please. Can't you go? Brrr? No, <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Don't you wreck the sound? <laughs> That's all I know. Okay. I can't roll my tongue. This is, <laughs> this is Stag's Leap Artemis Cabernet Sauvignon from the Napa Valley. And the reason why we're doing this is because it's National Drink Wine Day, which is 
moving up in the in the Amen. as far as holidays. Listen, I think they just sit around and go, I don't know, what do you want to do for a holiday? Let's do this. You know, there's well, gotta be bourbon some type gets of... 30 days. Yes. So me and wine, my liver are fully aware of that. Wine gets one. Well, I, I don't mean, know. I, I don't know. I, I think... think there's other stuff during during the uh during the year. Because every time you turn around, there's a Facebook like national look like your dog day or <laughs> national <laughs> turn your underpants inside out so you get two days save water stuff like that you know it just these obscure weird um holidays so yeah, I, see we went from talking we about beautiful cabernet <laughs> to, to turning our underpants inside out flipping the old underpants inside i don't out, do get, that get, uh, neither two do days, you get Trust two me. days out of them so <laughs> So this is an awesome, I got to make sure that product placement is straight. So this is an unbelievably beautiful winery in Napa Valley, California. We actually went there on our anniversary. Uh, I think it was our, was it our 20th? Was it the first time or the second time we went? It was the second time because we had Bob and Kathy with us. Yeah. So it would have been our 20th. Our 20th. So. Seven years ago, I made up this. Uh, all right, so here, here's what I did, folks. And if you plan on going to Napa Valley, I suggest you do this very thing. So, on one of the Napa Valley sites, I, it's probably something to do with like the Chamber of Commerce or something within Napa Valley. So, anyway, cut to the chase. There is this map, okay, that is on the website, and what it does is it it goes from top to bottom. And it shows you, there's like a, a legend over here that tells you which wineries are, are basically private. Then there's ones that are open to the public. Then there are ones that are um, appointment only and stuff like that. So that gives you an idea where you went, where you can go. So what I did is I created the California Food and Wine Extravaganza. <laughs> <laughs> so what I did is it we went we went to wineries good. that that my company represents and it was by far one of the greatest experiences in this business that I've ever had and I think you will agree it was pretty Oh yeah. Pretty awesome. So while he created, while he created the food and wine the, extravaganza the wine portion of it all I was doing was the food doing extravaganza the food part where I was googling <laughs> what is the Best top rated restaurants next to this winery yeah. and this winery. And, and listen, we and here's, made it some fantastic here's the thing. places. I kept all that information. And a friend of ours um, that I work with, Mark Davis, he's going to be going out there. Did you give so it all to him? I gave everything to him. Good. So there's I some mean, really good stuff. There's some to unbelievably. Go uh, so here, here's the There's so you're never going to get a bad meal in Napa Valley. I haven't had. I've not, I've been there like four times. Never had a bad meal. Only twice with me. Oh. Mm -hmm. Four glorious times. <laughs> <laughs> Two were more glorious than others, right? So, yeah. So we 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 actually went to Stag's Leap, uh, but prior to that, we we went to um, Con Creek, which is very close by, and we did one of the greatest experiences of my life in the wine industry we did the barrel blending experience at con creek right yeah that was by far one of the coolest things so picture this i'm going to get to the stag sleep in a second but picture this there are three six nine twelve i believe twelve different cabernets from different areas within napa valley small little avas they call them and each one of them is strictly Cabernet, and they are in a medium toast barrel. So they are all around a level playing field. So what you do is you take your glass, hard work, and you go around and you taste every single barrel. You give it a little twist. You taste it. Some of them are fantastic. Some of them had properties that I wouldn't say are um, my favorite in a Cabernet, but that's, Hey, listen, that's okay. There's, that's why they make thousands and thousands of different styles of wine. So on the back wall, what they have is Cabernet Franc, Melbeck, Merlot, and my personal favorite wine to say, Petit Verdot. 
Could you like to say it? Second only to Grunewald the Lina. <laughs> what is that? It's a white wife from Germany. That's why I say it like that. It's not, is Gewürz German? No. Grunewald the Lina. I'm probably saying it wrong, but that's the way I say it. So anyway, so you have you have basically in fr- in in one room, one gorgeous room, you have the makings of a Bordeaux bottle of wine. Okay, so yeah, I know she made hers, mm-hmm. I made mine, and our two friends Bob and Kathy they made theirs. Yeah. So what they tell you though is the wines go through a thing called bottle shock, which segue for later hold on to that term so what it does go through a little bit of a bottle shock so it's not really ready to drink for probably like nine to 12 months we waited like a year and a half or something like yeah that. It, we waited a longer long than time that. then yeah mm-hmm. and yes, then we, we went s- in january and we drank it the following summer okay over at their house. Yes. Remember, we yeah. did a we did a blind taste. And that was the cool part. We yeah. put it in brown bags and nobody knew whose is what. And we and we <laughs> I usually like, don't know what's in my brown bag. <laughs> yeah, On a daily basis. Sit in the front steps and drink it. So and then you had a, a nice little blind taste test, which you can do with regular bottles of wine. Go out and have have a wine party, go grab a bottle of wine that you've never yeah. had before, throw it in a brown bag, <laughs> tape it up. And then, then the host can write one, two, three, four. Everybody votes. I like this one. I like that one. Next thing you know, yeah. you might fall in love with something that somebody else brought. Right. Just something to do while we're being shut in from the snow. So. Yeah, exactly. So anyway. But Kathy's won. Kath, no, Bob's won. I Remember? think Kathy's won. I don't know. I don't. We're going to have... Kathy's one. Yeah, I don't think so. I think it was Bob's. To no, because I think and I no disrespect to Kathy's bottle. Mine lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mine lost Mr. too. Mister in, in the business for twenty five years lost. Well, here's the thing, though. You can only, um, to be honest, I mean, you can only taste so much before you're like, okay, before I think you get that purple just teeth and start going. I want to paint some bad Your flowers. Tongue's numb. Yeah. You're like, that tastes great. So I think for some reason my phone is um has like closed captioning on it. So it's, they always, it always it's, does. Oh, okay. Time. So what if I say hey, Benny's on so what if, Benny? So if this thing is say is reading everything, what if I say like booger? Don't say that. Is we, it gonna say that was it? A whole conversation last time. <laughs> okay, well, almost there. Hang on. I want to look. Here comes booger. It said booger. <laughs> You are a child. Uh, I'm like 14 years old. Oh so, my god! Anyway, like I said earlier, through my yammering about um, the wine being put into the bottle called Bottle Shock. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, I've been doing too much talking. Just hold, Kathy. If you're watching, let us know who won that contest. I know it was you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there is a movie that you can rent probably on the Netflix. Or one of the streaming services. Mm -hmm. It's called Bottle Shock. And what it is, it's about the judgment in Paris in 1976. So in 1976, to celebrate America's bicentennial, they decided, well, I shouldn't say they. (coughs) Excuse me. Stephen Spurrier, not to be confused with Coach Steve Spurrier, Two totally different guys. What's he a coach of? Football. Yeah. Oh. He's like a... He wasn't like a Super Bowl coach, was he? <laughs> he might have been. I don't know. I mean, like yeah. the Super Bowl. No. no okay, because no. I wouldn't... I didn't he was know. around for a long time. Okay. So anyway, Steven Spurrier, who unfortunately we lost him uh, last year. God rest your soul, sir. Thank you so much. Because honestly, if it wasn't for Steven Spurrier, the wine industry in North America, or in the United States, I should say, would not be the same and also subject to the other new world winery or new world wine areas that are uh, selling in uh, in the business right now. So, so Steve Spurrier puts together this contest and it's a blind tasting between some of the heavy hitters of French wines against the first, the first section was, 
uh, white burgundies against Chardonnays from California, mm -hmm. and Chateau Montalino won. So the the movie Bottle Shock with Alan Rickman, who is unfortunately no longer with us either, uh, that movie Bottle Shock is is surrounded a lot of uh, about Chateau Montalino. So you get a lot of backstory. You don't get much backstory about Stag's Leap, but uh, so anyway. So Chateau Montalino won the Chardonnay and Stag's Leap Vineyard, or yeah, it was Stag's Leap Cellars, 1973 Cabernet, won against all these other French, basically Bordeaux's. Which, it, was, it was a great show. Yeah, the uh, movie the was movie, awesome. Yeah, it was. <coughs> it was a great I movie. too much. See, that, I don't have that problem. <laughs> I don't need a drink of alcohol or a wine. <laughs> Uh, whatever water. it is. <laughs> whatever it is. I meant to say water. So I don't need a drink of water because I, don't I talk know, all the time. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm I'm using a cheat sheet because all right. this, is a lot this of one lot this of one is a lot of information. <coughs> so in the Cabernet section, here's just a few of them. And I'm sure if you are have been drinking wine for a while, you might know these wines. Chateau Mouton Rothschild. Um, Chateau Aubryon. It doesn't look like Aubryon, but it, that's how it's spelled. Uh, Chateau Montrose. Ridge Cab uh, Cabernet Mountain Range from Montebello. Santa Cruz Mountains was in there. Oh, these are all of that. These are the all from that, that blind won? tasting. Yeah. Oh. And then also Freemark Abbey, which we actually went to Freemark Abbey. Yep. And... Uh, What's cool about Freemark Abbey is they've had a winemaker there for probably, I think he's the longest standing winemaker in Napa Valley. That, those wines are fantastic, folks. So anyway, if you can get out there, get those. But anyway, we're talking about Stag's Leap. And there are two Stag's Leaps out there, folks. Now, I'm going to get preachy. And I know you hate it when I do this. But it's all about the apostrophe. Oh, yeah, there is. I get that. Oh, okay. I, that's so, different. That's like this is grammar. Stag's apostrophe S. No, leap. It's stag apostrophe S. Stag apostrophe S. Yep. The you other said one is Stag's apostrophe S. I'm sorry. This is Stag's ap <laughs> stag, stag apostrophe, apostrophe S. S. Sorry. Stag ap apostrophe S. Then the other one is Stag's apostrophe S apostrophe. Okay. Stag's. Apos stag apostrophe <clears throat> S. Yes. And then stags apostrophe. Yes. Are you yes. sure you want me yes. to check? Oh no, I'm hundred percent wrong. Oh. <laughs> so this one is is Stag's Leap Wine Cellars. The other one is Stag's Leap Winery. Now oh. they make they make fantastic wines also. However, this winery, along with Chateau Montalina, have bottles in the Smithsonian Institute displayed because of the Paris uh the judgment in Paris in 1976 okay the so, bottles from when that yes, they won yes. that are there yes the actual bottles the actual bottles yes hmm. so pretty cool how long goes that that was back in 1976 it's been 46 years really yeah yeah so in our lifetime yes cool we were little yeah you were six well, I'm also fine. half Italian, so I was probably drinking something at the table. <laughs> yeah. We're drinking gin and tonics as they're playing cards. We've already heard the story. I'm sneaking them. So <clears throat> this is actually not mm. the same exact wine that was, uh, or that level. So they have different levels of wine. They have one that's called Hands of Time that's very affordable. Mm -hmm. This one here is probably about... 85 ish or whatever in the stores then they have very expensive ones like like the they have slv uh which is stags leap vineyards mm -hmm. and then they have cask 23 which is also very expensive uh however remember when we had our visit to stags leap we actually bought a very expensive yep. bottle for our anniversary we did and we went to michael chiarello's and they charge us $35 to, to, open, to open our $280 <laughs> bottle of wine. But hey, <sighs> who's counting? <laughs> worth it. Me. It's worth oh, it was a, and then it was so were... worth it. And it's one of those things we get a lot of people. Mm. And I, we most, I get some people that ask me, like, really, is that 
is that like $300 bottle of wine or that $100 bottle of wine or whatever? Is it really worth it? With a pedigree like that, it is. Well, you what know? was cool too was we were sitting in that restaurant and yeah. literally from us to what, 20 feet away yeah. was a whole table of all of these, I'm going to call them kids because they're way younger than we are, of Somalia trainees. Oh, yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh, that was that's when you that's when you realize you know nothing. Oh, and I'm a rookie <laughs> when it comes to drinking. I mean, they were like whipping that stuff around and and woo. <laughs> I don't think that was actually the technique. <laughs> you can well sue be. me if you'd like, but I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> that's what it looked like to me, but wow. All right. So Ooh, you want to try professionals. some professionals? Stagley. Yeah. Now this is and 2018. Lots of Lots of people watching. So, really? Yep. Six. Aww, thanks, six people. Beth. Hey, um, Lampier, what's up? Ask any questions if anybody wants anything to know anything. Matt will be more than happy to answer for you. And listen, here's the thing. <laughs> if I don't know it. I'll find you, out. Well, no. If I don't know it, I will say it with such conviction that you'll think I did. <laughs> Mary Grace says I do that at work. Oh, yeah. Speak with conviction. You have to. You know, it's one of those things where they say they uh, uh, act like you're supposed to be there. <laughs> oh, I know I'm supposed to be here right now. It's one of my favorites. It's like one of my favorite days of the year. Well, now it is because you just found out about it this afternoon. <laughs> I did. I was like, we get to do a show tonight. Hey, listen, like, I want to thank, I want to take a minute here and thank my friend Lynn George because my friend Lynn George, who is our Kendall Jackson girl, and she I shouldn't say girl, lady. She is Represent tough as nails and she knows a lot about wine. And mm. she's been liking our stuff lately. Cheers, Lynn. And and I uh, got one of these for you. So thank you. This thank is you. a Carmel Road. You should have shown double them hinger. how to open it, though. I know everybody knows how to open a bottle of wine, but I've you still get before. mad at me because of the way I open a bottle well, of wine. You, uh... It's fast. <clears throat> no, it's not fast. Kind of is. Listen, I was talking for 20 minutes and I got this open faster than you did. <laughs> Ooh, squeaky, like cheese curd. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I'm going to do this beautiful. like this. I'm like, show. Stay. Nice. Chad Horning. Hi, Chad. What's up, dog? My best buddy, Chad. He's the reason why I know all about my camera. Got John and Mary and Priscilla and Doug and Michelle and John Kamai. Wow, Kamai, what's up? Andy Boland. Andy Boland, buddy. How Kelly, are you? Kelly, Beth Hall. Beth Hall. Becky. Thanks for the weather, Beth. I know. Right? I know you it's don't do it. Fault. I know you don't do it. It's not her fault. But listen, fault. here's the thing. The Everybody hates something. Not hates, <clears throat> but like bust the the weather channel or weather person's chops has anybody ever gone up to a weather person when it's 98 degrees and gone hey thanks no but they'll go yell at them about snow well they need to now because that's a good idea uh, right there you go you heard it here first folks on a couple of drinks with clarks everybody should thank her yeah okay and then we oh Angela, my friend Angela. Hello, Angela. She got new do last night. It's beautiful. It's fabulous. Yep. Oh, and there's my friend Tracy. Who? Tracy. What? Tracy and Bob. They must have went into a <laughs> ditch and they clicked on their phone and that's what was there. <laughs> we would have to clarify this, but we would have to say Tracy and Bob and his wood juice. Now let me clarify no. this. <laughs> Bob syrups. So the big syrup, joke Bob. is sugars. He sugars. Oh, he sugars. Yeah. And he makes syrup. Yeah. Syrup. Yeah. And of course, Chris, my other coworker, she's out on um sick leave right now. She just had a full shoulder replacement. Yeah. Love no, our job, a, don't you? I gotta tell you that that sh I had my shoulder ripped out of socket in, in a car accident. Chris, I feel for you, my dear. That is one of the worst pains ever and you never realize how violent a sneeze is until you have your shoulder right <laughs> worked on happy national wine day says janelle um wow let's see lots of chad people. we got um who else did i miss missy and bill beata bill beata diane i feel like diane's our cousin cousin yeah okay. i just always see her on everything and yeah 
I don't know. She's like family. Yes. We've known her forever. Um, um and Chris. Okay. Okay. Come through mostly everybody right now. I'm impressed. Right. How is the sound out there? Can anybody give us a quick like thumbs up, thumbs down? Uh, if we're too loud or whatever, because we didn't do sound check. Before. Yeah, we didn't do a sound check. Maybe you can't hear us at all. Lucky you. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe they're like just like thank okay, God. So let's talk thank about God. This. I'm just reading subtitles. You know what? And we, why is Matt Clark saying Booker? You know exactly. You know what we didn't do, which what? we didn't probably should have talked about this because I've wow. always wanted to do this. Why did we not decant this? Okay. So yeah. should we have? We could have. Should we have aerated it? The should thing, we? We could have talk done that. about that because I really don't know what all that. So means. okay, so or why you do now, it now? A lot of what goes in here and comes out with regards to wine knowledge, I salute my friend Forrest Harper right. because he's he's probably one of those most wine knowledgeable people I've ever met. I will attest to that. And Forrest we and we've is... met some guys in California who are like, whoa, like big time sommeliers. And Forrest is still, and not only that, but top notch. Not only that, but he, I don't want to say dumbs it down. He tell he talks to you the way you know, um, he the way you would understand, understand it. it. Yeah. Right. So, tan, uh, do we have a pen? No. Um, no. Okay. All right. So follow the bouncing ball, folks. So <clears throat> when you have a bottle of wine. Uh, especially a, a nice Cabernet tannins, which are uh, come from the skins and give you that feel where your teeth are kind of dr dries you out. Okay. Mm. So tannins head. when they're in the bottle are like a wavelength. They're like up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. So, but when you aerate the wine, what that does is that allows more, air to go in between and kind of spreads the tannins out and mellows the wine, makes it easier to drink. Okay. Okay. You can do either decant it or put it in a beautiful bottle or a beautiful glass like this, which mm -hmm. this obviously has more surface area than this little um, hole coming out of the neck. So what happens if you... Okay, so say we say we put it in here right now. We're uh -huh. letting it aerate, sure. like what a decanter would do, correct? Sure. This is, these are big. Sure. If we put it in a decanter mm -hmm. instead of putting it into these wine glasses first, I better be careful because I yes, feel like I'm. Yeah, I almost did that. Yep. The Italian's okay. coming out. Okay. I know Listen. people will say, "Well, when is there ever leftover wine? Nobody else ever has leftover wine." But obviously, you can't pour it back into the bottle. So do you just? Yes, you can. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. All right. No, so here. if you... I don't have it down here, but I should have. My friend Javian Rafis. You got a lot of friends. I know a lot. Of people. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing this for twenty-seven oh, years. <laughs> but Javian turned me on to this canter or decanter. So uh, it's it's got a it's got a wide base, and it's got uh, a rubber stopper that goes over the top of the bottle of wine. And then you put the rubber stopper other end on the decanter and then you flip it upside down. And what happens is it has an aerator inside the middle. Okay, I'm sorry. You have to do this again. Because you weren't looking. I know, because this, Chris said that the sound was perfect. Okay, so thank I just you, wanted Chris. to make sure. Okay, so start all over. I'm so, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. All right, so the decanter is as, as such, it's it's a very wide bottom. Okay. And it comes up like this, and, and it's got a, a pretty good spout. What happens is it's got like a rubber stopper that goes over the top of it. Yes. But yes. also we have it. It's upstairs. Yes. yes. And then it go, the other side goes over this. Okay. And then you turn it upside down and the wine pours out through an aerator into the decanter. Okay. <clears throat> so when you're done, so you take the bottle off, you put it off to the side. It still has the rubber stopper on it. Okay. Yep. You pour whatever wine you want. And if there's some left over, you put the empty bottle back on. And flip it back the other way, and the wine goes into the bottle. Hey, cork it back up, and da da. So you can yes, pour wine. You back can after that, you've yeah. aerated. it. That's not a bad thing. No, well, the only thing is, is, is um, there are three things that are wine's nemesis, and it's air, light, and heat. Okay. Okay. So any of that stuff happens. That's why, you know, if you have a bottle of wine in your car around this time of year, Greg Hudson, and 
does he? <laughs> and you give it to your friend <laughs> through no fault of his own. And it's like a bowling pin. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> Are those the ones you give to me to drink? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You can't, you, can't, you can't pin me down for an answer. So anyway, folks, to recap, Stag's Leap Wine Cellars is the company or the is the wine cellar that won the Judgment in Paris Cabernet or red wine um, blind tasting. Okay? okay. So these guys really know what they're doing. And also, too, what was very cool was when we walked in, they had this barrel carving. Do you remember the mama and the baby bear? Yes. It looked like a, it looked like a brown, uh, basically like a grizzly bear right. laying down in, in the vineyard or in the uh, cave. If you didn't really know, <laughs> had a few pops. Next thing, holy cow. There's a sleeping bear in a cub. Oh, boy. But that was really pretty. Yeah. Uh, but also, too, they have this pendulum. That is in the middle of the yeah. cave. That was so, so cool. cool. California has a lot of really, really cool wineries. So there was something about <clears throat> that pendulum too. Didn't it have to do with? Yeah, it has to do with the Earth's rotation. That's how it keeps it going. That was so yeah. weird. Yeah, I mean, it was so cool, but it was so weird. Yeah, it was. It, it California has a lot of beautiful, amazing wineries. It really does. There, Should like, I have known that about the? That's what keep it was keeping that going. No, it's no? Fine. okay. All right. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm amazed that you said you knew that something kept it going. <laughs> Easy. Easy. <Yeah. laughs> um, the, but the other the other uh, if we want to talk about Napa Valley now we spent quite a few days in Napa Valley. Um, but the other one is the Inglenook Estate that Francis Coppola owns. Oh my that was gosh! So cool. Um, so it's very close to Robert Mondavi. Um, matter of fact, I think their neighbors, they were, you know, unfortunately Robert passed, but, um, their neighbors. But so the when, story about that one alone, how yeah, it started and, and, and how it came back and how he's brought it back. But what's cool about that is, is there's this beautiful old like castle looking place. Yeah. And it's cool. They have an orange and lemon tree in the yeah. front yard. So one half is growing oranges. The other half is growing yeah. lemons. Really yeah. cool. Um, but anyway, you walk in and there's a, there's like a tasting room and stuff. And then on the tour, they take you into this room where this, uh, set Hollywood set designer did this arch of the door. So it looks like you're kind of like walking into clouds. Then you walk behind, uh, behind the, the castle is this hill. So the hill is up against, or the castle is up against this hill and they made a cave that went through the hill right. and out to the other side. Yeah. So you go through the you go through the cave where they store a bunch of their cabernet, and then you they open the door. And next and thing you know, yeah. you're you're on the other side of the the hill. Yeah. And you're in the vineyard. That was so weird. Yeah. And there's a there's a story about how they found a bottle. Remember, yeah. down in Francis did. Yes. In a cave or wherever. Where was he? What was well, it? Well, right, so when Francis Coppola purchased Inglenook Estate, so the Inglenook Estate, back before Coca Cola bought it and turned it into jug wine, but the Inglenook Estate was one of the pr premier Cabernet houses in Napa Valley, and when Francis bought the place, he went to Robert Mondavi's for dinner. So Robert Mondavi goes, "Let's go see the cellar." So they went down in the cellar and they found this like 80 some year old bottle of wine. And they're like, Francis Coppola's like, let's open it. You know, why not? So they opened it and the wine was shot, but shot or shocked, shot, shot like, like bad. bad. Okay. Yeah. It, it was, it had gone and it had turned, but the color of the wine was almost pristine and the initial aromas were fantastic for like 10 minutes and then it went oof. So bottles of wine like that don't that old don't last that long. So even when they open these like really old bottles of wine, they're probably good for like 15 20 minutes. So you got to drink them right away. Hmm. Yeah. 
a lot of stuff I am blah, spitting out. Sorry. You have to drink it that fast. <laughs> I don't think it's a problem. <laughs> So are you ready? I think it's. I'm very I think ready. This baby's been breathing and I'm going to do a little swirly swirl. That's okay, so what are we beautiful. doing now? Listen. So when, now we do this, right? And we're checking yeah. the tannins right now. Sure. I'm going to pretend like, like I know what I'm talking so about. So when you have a chance, and if you do, or if you already have them, it's at your legs. House, yes, and she knows how to use them. <laughs> um, get yourself a beautiful big red wine glass so you can swirl Jeez. it around. And uh, something taped to the bar or something. No, just after I <laughs> wiped it last night and stuck it down where it was wet, probably. Uh, that way you can get some aromas. All right, now. All right. So, okay. do you want to do the Kevin Zraeli? Show the folks the oh, Kevin yeah. Zraeli. Okay. That was a great so tasting. Here, here we went to um, uh, White Plains. New White York. Plains. Yeah. So, White Plains, we went to, it was for my birthday, and we went down there for a. Uh, Wine tasting with Kevin Zraeli. Now, Kevin Zraeli uh, was and still is. He, I think he still does classes uh, for Windows on the World, uh, which used to be uh, at the World Trade Center. And he was in charge of the wine program there. Uh, so we actually took a, a uh, class with him. So what he did is he said, OK, everybody, you know, swirl your wine around and smell it. You know, you get some beautiful aromas. <laughs> Are you OK? Kevin's really got a little mad at me because <laughs> well, he didn't get mad at me, but he goes, nothing's wrong when it comes to smelling and tasting of wine. Nothing's wrong. And he asked me, I, of course, question. I was sit, sitting somewhat near the front, the front because, were... well, I didn't pick that seat, wow. but there I am. And I'm sitting there. It was like church. <laughs> it was like church. Everybody was sitting in the back. He goes, what do you smell? <laughs> I go, have you ever had those chocolate covered blueberries from Sam's Club? <laughs> He's like, moving along. <laughs> I'm like, you told me nothing was wrong. No one was wrong. Hey, listen, he didn't know, he's never met you. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Exactly what Listen, I got when I smelled you know this, that wine, whatever it was. So maybe he had a, mm. a, subscri a prescription for Sam's Club. Or not, <laughs> or not Sam's Club, but BJ's prescription. prescription for Sam's Club and BJ's you Hotel. Mean a membership. Whatever it is. <laughs> this is not a prescription. He had a prescription. Hello, I'm here to pick up my had a Sam's prescription Club for pills. BJ's Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> I have my prescription card right here. I get cheap gas and wine that's not even real wine. <laughs> It's uh four percent, but uh it's in it's in one point five cents. It's only six ninety nine, but I like it. What's wrong with you? There's a lot wrong with me. All right, so now okay. let's do the Kevin's rally. Okay. Okay, so all right, once so you did this, uh, did it swirl it. This does not smell like chocolate covered blueberries <laughs> no, from Sam's it Club. Like black oh, am I supposed to hold it like that? Blackberries and cherries. No, you don't have to. I mean, that's why they have stems, so your your heat of your body. Yeah, don't you don't you not? Yeah. Well, this is a big glass, though. I'm that's, a little yeah, worried. All right, so now. <laughs> Put it down. Oh. Put your palm over the top of it. Okay. Squirrel it around. And what, you, what your palm is doing is basically capturing a lot of the aromas. Okay. Okay. Now what are we doing? What are we doing? A nice smell. And then now, now that's like on steroids. Oh. Isn't that crazy. It's almost like. Can you only do that once? You don't want to. Do no, that you can twice, do it once. Right? Time. Oh, you do. You okay. Do. I don't want to do it again. I do this thing, and people make fun of me. What do you do? Not really make fun of me, but I know people <laughs> want to make fun of me. But when I, when I, um, when and I, now I'm gonna make fun. <laughs> when I, when I, when I nose wine, I kind of I like to close my eyes to try and like close off that sensory and and concentrate on the smell. You. Then I'm gonna do it with you. Yeah. All right. What are we doing? We're gonna close our eyes. It's my thing. It's my thing. Don't you you get your own thing. <laughs> My own thing is sipping it. That's yeah, all my thing is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, are we ready? Yeah, oh, we have, to, we have to smell it first? Yes. Okay. Nobody smell. You can smell the I oak. smell dark cherries. Dark cherries, blackberries. I smell blackberries, yep. A little bit. I smell a little bit of oak. Almost dark, almost like a... 
Rad raspberry also. <clears throat> so this is like <clears throat> it's like fruit pie, really. I mean, really. Mm, blackberries. And I do love that, blackberries. It's almost like a little hint of cedar. You smell that? People, people are like, just drink it already. A little bit, yeah. A little bit of cedar, right? Yeah. So when you close your eyes, you can you can see it. I almost had to put my glasses on to smell it. <laughs> But at least you weren't going like this and sniffing the microphone like you did that one time. I did. I went like this. Oh. <laughs> did I do that? I, I don't to. know. Well, okay, I'm going for it. Cheers. cheers love you. Oh, cheers, up. everybody. Cheers, everybody. I hope you're having a glass of wine with us. It's National Wine Day. <laughs> yeah true story oh my god that is so good how good is that oh wow now it's like oh so smooth the vanilla pops <clears throat> you taste that mm -hmm, i do like cherry vanilla and like like just subtle subtle oak a little bit of raspberry on the finish but the vanilla hints are like right up front. It is so smooth going down. There's yeah. no like warmth really, or and it's, it's just this is an elegant, elegant bottle of wine. Silk. That's why I'm wearing my jacket. It's like silk. I'm wearing my smoking jacket. Do you know why I call it my smoking jacket? Yes, dear. Why, dear? Because you're smoking hot in it. No. No. What is it? <laughs> if I'm gonna if I'm gonna rob you in softball. You got to hit it right, because I'm smoking in this jacket. <laughs> but it didn't, isn't that what I just no, said? No, you didn't. Because you're smoking hot in this Listen, jacket. Read, read the replay here. Anyway. anyway. Anyways. <laughs> anyway. Anybody have any questions? Mm -hmm. They're probably like, when are you going to finish Yeah, a lot of people show? are like bailing. <laughs> All right, let's see. Anybody questions? Um, answers? Oh, hi, Chris. Hi, Cindy, Lonnie, Trisha, Glenn, Tony, Jason, Tim, oh. Christy. Hi, Christy. Who's Christy? She's my friend. Whatever. She's one of my clients. Chris Adderley. I know. Chris, I hope you can taste wine. Can you taste wine yet? Tim Esposito, nice. I know, right? Got lots of people watching us. We appreciate okay. your business, folks. Thank you so much. Yep. Make sure you subscribe to the Couple Drinks with the Clarks on the YouTubes. Because <laughs> actually, we're live on YouTube too. Oh, I don't really? know how or why, but I did it. Hmm. It's kind of my thing. It's a good thing or not. Scary. I'm the, I'm the technical guru of a Couple of Drinks with the Clarks. I am the uh, IT support. Don't guy. make me laugh. We have had issues with me laughing with my wine in my mouth before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Too bad that wasn't a live show. <laughs> Probably one of the only times we stopped. Oh my gosh. I don't know where that tape is either. I tried to find it. You probably deleted it, you big baby. Look at the legs on this. Mm -hmm. It's so smooth. Yeah. I will say this um, <clears throat> that probably won't be a problem finishing that one. Oh, I won't have I will a actually with drink it. it with you this time instead <laughs> of you sitting about by yourself on the front steps. Drink it. <laughs> drink it your brown, on the front steps. Drink it in a brown baby bag. <laughs> Don't do that. Yell at neighborhood kids. Get off my lawn. <laughs> I most certainly uh, don't do that. No, that's, that's, oh. that's fun stuff. So All anyway, right. did we get any questions? Um, no question. <laughs> Where's Peppa? <laughs> I know, well, Chris. The time. Pepper's, okay, so now Pepper's that we sick. do this down in our basement, the dogs, even though the carpet stairs, the stairs coming down here are carpeted, none of them will come down no. here. I don't know why. They've just never been down yeah. here. And it would be a hell holy mess come. because well, we could carry everywhere. Pepper down. There's, she there's would. wires everywhere. Yeah. But she would love it. I know. I mean, when we did the show upstairs, I forget which one it was, but we're sitting there doing a show, and all of a sudden, Ramona walked by the camera, and it went ba boom, and it was next thing you know, it was shooting. <laughs> it was shooting the ceiling. That was pretty funny. Uh, oh. I think I was the Jefferson Ocean one. 
I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, because I think we were like, tidal wave. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. All right. Well, say goodnight to all the nice people. Good night to the nice people. Get yourself, get, get yourself, get yourself get a, a glass, self. get yourself, get yourselves a beautiful glass of wine tonight and share it with the one you love. She love you. I got to go share it with the one I love. <laughs> did, you, did you switch this bottle or glass? What lipstick? Cheers, love you. Ooh, My lipstick I... doesn't come off. Cheers, love you. Be careful. I want to get, I want to have to listen to it. You're going to. No, don't eat a part of this feeling of spiritual sentiment. <laughs> Stop <Wow. laughs> it. That was pretty good. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Thank you. Happy National Wine Drinking Day. When's, what's the or next Or as show? my wife likes to say, Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Today's Friday. So also, if you are watching, stay tuned because yeah. on February 14th, or not 14th, That's 24th, 14th. add 10 days, the 24th of February, it's a Thursday evening at 8 p.m. There's nothing on television anyway. Olympics will probably be over. We are having Adam Kraft from Elevated Craft. He's our cocktail shaker guy. He's going to come on, and we may give away some stuff. That'd be nice. Yeah. So tell a friend. And then we've got a surprise coming up just our, on our own show. We're going to do a reveal of some homemade. Oh, yes. I for, almost forgot. Oh, yeah. Homemade orange cello. So what I did is I followed the recipe for limoncello, or as Giada says, limoncello. <laughs> um, so I followed the recipe for limoncello, and instead of using lemons, I used blood, blood oranges. oranges. But I tweaked the recipe because that's what I do. And you have some it would be listen. Spirit. It would be exactly what Chris Adderley would have wanted me to do. Really? Why? Hundred percent. He likes to tweak. He likes recipes. to tweak stuff because he's the man. You're the man, Chris. You're the man, Chris. Anyway, <laughs> so that is our show for this evening. How long have we been on? Do you know? Um, no, I it, don't. It, well, we started at eight thirty. <clears throat> Chris says, "Love you too. Good night, you too. Good night." She just had surgery. Chad. What's Chad saying? I can assure you Matt is wearing pants. <laughs> or am I? I thank you. Oh gosh. All right. Okay, everybody. <laughs> we love you all. Get some more. Yes, wine, anyway, folks. We'll thank you so you much. Soon. And remember, Thursday, February 24th, 8 p.m. Come on, we're gonna go live again with Adam Kraft from Elevator Craft, and we're gonna give away some stuff. And we've got some, he's got some exciting news. Too. He does. Yeah. So and anyway. um, in case you're wondering, this is really, really, really good. Top. And I do, I do like your idea of going over to a dinner party yeah. or, or just a hangout like, party. Everybody bring a bottle, a bottle of what you like because, or something you've never had and open it, bring the bottle of wine over and open it. Don't save it. And, and, oh, what's happened? My drinking. Oh, um, don't save it and just leave it on the shelf for whenever. Share it and open it and enjoy it and try each other's. Yeah. That's a really good idea. Do a little blind a tasting. Like, you hear it here first. And I would have never drank that wine, right. but now I've tried it and I want it. And here, here's, here's the, the brown bag best story ever. And then I'll let you go to bed. <clears throat> we had a supplier come in one day. And he had this bottle of wine that was wrapped up in, in brown paper bag and it had tape on it. And he had R on each bag. So he had two and we went up and we went through the room and everybody had a little bit. And it was a beautiful little rosé. And every single salesperson in, this, in the room liked it. Every single. Everybody's like, wow, that's really good. And he goes. How would you like it if I told you it cost this much? And everybody's like, wow, that's great. He goes, anybody know what it is? Nobody had a clue. It tasted like a Provence rosé, which is really nice. You know, that's where a lot of uh, rosés are coming from is, is the Provence area in France. It tasted very similar to that. Mm -hmm. He goes, would you believe it's this? And he pulled out 
a bottle of Matus. Now, Mat- Am I supposed to know what that is? Matus is an old brand like Black Tower, Blue Nun. Oh it has God. been around forever. <clears throat> and it is a beautiful rosé, folks. You heard it here first. When rosé season comes around, get a bottle of Matus. You will be pleasantly surprised. The thing really? about it is, is it's in this old, weird bottle. And people kind of shy away from it because it was, you know, a Nowadays, it's grandma's brand or dad or mom's brand. Right. Nobody wants to drink it, but it is fantastic. There are a lot of old brands out there that are still fantastic. Yep. Like Blue Nun. Blue Nun is very good for what it is. Really? So anyway, that's my story. Here I am talking about Blue Nun while we're talking about Stanley <laughs> Artemis. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Two folks, totally different uh, entities. But... Get yourself some stag, le- stag's leap Artemis Cabernet Sauvignon. Stag apostrophe S. Yes, leap wine cellars. Okay, there you go. Okay, and do you know what Artemis is? It's a deer. Oh, it's a wine <laughs> that truly reflects its name. That's this. which is. Keep going. It's almost there. It's the culmination of our hunt for the finest grapes from the Napa Valley. You didn't read the Terrace very is, top. Oh, my God. Na- oh, <laughs> named after the Greek wow. goddess of the hunt. Okay, the font Artemis. of that line was like this big, and the rest of it was a little bit. Anyway, folks, I'm reading the, everything, but. Yeah. yeah. The goddess of the hunt for new for more wine is sitting next to me. So, anyway. I am Artemis. Yes, and this wine's making her awesome. <laughs> so the shirt says. All right. Cheers, love you. What? Cheers, love you, everybody. She's a mag. You're going to break. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Say good Say good night to the nice people. Good night, nice people. Thank you so Thank much you for, for joining, joining us. Thank you for joining us. And having some fun. Yes. Now i got to go turn it up. This yeah, because we don't know how to. We don't know how to. It smells sucks. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Oh, we got to play the song out. Oh, wait, we're gonna say- Hold on, we're going to play the song out. Not, not, not yet. Okay, I hit the not yet button. Oh, really? Is there such a thing? What do I press? Oh, my Lord Jesus. Well, I'm not the IT chick. Yeah. Hurry up. You are the color girl, honey. Hurry up. When the day's gone long and you can't take it. Oh, this is my favorite part. Cheers, love you. you. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.